right. Okay, let's just see. Twelve. Okay. So. Okay. It's not really a super choice. <laughs> is it gone? Go for it. Okay. Um, who has used uh, multi-group in Drupal 6? And who has used field collections in Drupal 7? Okay, so there are two. There are a few people, so you'll be able to correct me when I do something. Wow. So, for anyone that's used multi-group in Drupal 6, and just so everyone knows what I'm talking about, it's basically the ability to have multiple fields associated as one field. So, you know, you fill out, let's say you have first name, last name, and a telephone number, and it's all associated with a node, but you want it to be associated so that when you have add field, it shows all three of them again at the same time. So multi-group for uh, in CCK for Drupal 6 allowed you to do that. The only problem was it kind of sucked. So in Drupal 7, they did what most people would do once you introduce entities. You try to use a field, you try to associate a field as an entity, so then you can attach those to another entity. So a field gets attached to a node or a user or whatever you want. Oh, this is lovely. Let's just select allow again. And so the nice thing about having fields as entities is that, like I said, you can have a collection of fields uh, all get associated together with one entity. But what field collection would also allow you to do is, since it's its own entity, you can associate, associate another field collection with within a field collection. So then you can have this really weird concocted um, you know, association for all of your, uh, for your content. And I'm just going to go through a demo of what something like this could look like. So, you know, let's just go into my various content types. So, in this case, for as an example, I have an Uber field collector node. And when I go to look at it, and the kinds of fields that are in there, it has a title, it has a body, and it has this field collection, which I've called super field. So, you know, what does that look like? So, when you, once you install the field collections module, you basically give a name for your field collection within the content type, and then it'll appear in the field collection structure area. So now, if I look inside field FC super field, and I go to manage it, you can see that I've associated a name, another, another text field with it, and another field collection that's embedded inside it. So then, you know, this can store additional pieces of content if I want to. And so if I go into field collection again, and I look at that other field collection that's there, you can see that it's holding a text field and, in this case, a node reference field. So what does that all look like when I go to add content? Please don't die. <laughs> okay, great. It came up, so that's a good thing. Okay, so I can fill in something. There's a body area. I don't want to fill in anything there. And, oh, whoops. Now, if I scroll down, you can see that entire field collection that's available. So, you know, I can start filling out a name. Also, let's just put in my name. Who I like. Stuff. I can add multiple items. You'd set up fields in the same way that you'd set up fields normally, except now it's within the context of this collection that you have. So you're adding multiple items within multiple items. Precisely. Are the one you're not adding are disabled, basically? Pardon? Are the one you're not adding, the fields you're not adding, are basically disabled? They're still they're, available. They're still part of that? Mode. Yes, they're still a part of that content type. But they will be disabled. Exactly. So, you know, I can add more stuff. Um, in this case, this is the field collection that I had added in. So I'm going to in this case, let's add a number. 
and choose some sort of reference. And I can do that again and again within the context of this. Hopefully I can do this again and again. Oh, sweet, it works. Thank goodness. So, you know, I can add another one. I can choose something else. And then, to top it off, let's add another item of this type. All right. You're, hopefully you're gone. All right, and there it appears again in its full entirety for me to, ready to fill out again with something. Yeah. And let's choose five. So now if I go to save it, <coughs> you can see this whole set of field information that's all associated within the context of this one particular piece of content. And similar to how, you know, something like Display Suite would work, you can do field formatting for all of this kind of content as well. So in the case, in this case, I'm just showing the title for the uh, associated nodes, but I could have this be something more complex, like if I wanted to show, you know, if it had stuff like images and uh, music or whatever else that I have, it could all show up within the context of this particular piece of content. And the other nice thing is it's all also fully integrated with views. So you're going to have these horrible, nasty looking queries when you look at the back end of what's happening, but you can see it actually join through the various pieces of content. So then you have this, you know, uh, just as an example, we have a content type called album, and then we have a field collection called track, and that track has musicians, which is another content type. So we can make this relation from album to artists or vice versa. If I wanted to see musicians in all of the albums that, they're, that they have appeared in, this is a way for me to be able to traverse down strictly through fields and find which ones they're associated with. So again, the queries look really nasty, but it all works. And that's how you can have uh, interesting relationships. And uh, you had a question? Oh, uh, no, I have a couple comments, too. It, um, it actually also works really, really well with Search API. OK. Uh, where you can, you can basically, when you're setting up your indexes, mm -hmm. um, you, can, you can actually index down into the attached entities for a given node and sort of associate them back. So it's like a can search for you know, your, your main content type, but indexing against one of the, the text fields. I see. So as part of the search index options, you can say what pieces of content from those associated field collections you want associated as part of your search index for this other piece of content. Right. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. It's basically the uh, performance version of views in the in the respect where you can get to, right. to that endpoint. Very cool. Yes. Do you recommend the field groups for Drupal 6? Unfortunately, field group is pretty much the only option you have for Drupal 6. So as much as I'd like to stay, say to stay away from it, you it might... Choice. Exactly. Uh, Design yes. around it. Pardon? Design around it. Right. Yeah. On the same note, uh, what about uh, upgrade path? from field groups to field collection? Is it just a migration? I think it will have to be a custom migration at this point. Nothing has been designed yet. The main problem with all of this was that there were 10 or 12 different options at one point on exactly what's going to happen with the multi-group module that's in Drupal 6 for Drupal 7. There was combo field, there's field collection, there was, I think there was entity field that someone else had made. There, there are a whole bunch of different options. And there's also the relation module, which um, really, uh, pardon? Checks is working. Yes, which is very similar in concept to what field collection does, because relations allows you to make, well, relations between one piece of content and another piece of content. And relations themselves are fieldable. So, you know, if you really think about it, relation and field collection are very similar. So... Uh, at least from the last time I talked with Chex, 
he himself said that he was going to try and talk with the author of the field collection module. Uh, his name is Fago, uh, if you look for him online, and to try and work together to try and merge the two projects together. And in the case that that happens, knowing the kind of people both of them are, there will be a migration path for yeah. sure. But as it stands now, like field, field collection is your, your best option. I, I'm asking partially because I saw you tweeted that you were maybe running up against the case where it might make sense to write your own field. Um, field, field. Right. So the advantage with something like field collection is the fact that it has the ability to embed other field collections inside it. So you can have these other complex relations. But if you're going with a strictly, you know, I'm just collecting a first name, a last name, and a telephone number, yeah, it can do it. But it might not be the most performant option that you have. If you're looking for more performance, then you're probably better off designing your own field and, you know, storing all the data that way. And I know that Hellier and a few other people have presented on creating your own field. It's really not that difficult. And the fact that it automatically integrates into views and a whole bunch of other things, I would say that's that's a pretty cool way to go as well. Any other questions? Yes? Uh, two things. I, I think the main difference between this and relation at this point at least is in terms of the UI that's available yes. to you in relation. Precisely. And it's, it, it's a little complex through the UI to actually make relationships between nodes uh, or you know between entities. Whereas field collection, it's it's really it's a very you know CCK feeling type solution. Yes. Um, there's also a, a cool uh, module called field collection table. Um, that's basically like a, a, another another view of the um, field collection contents that actually renders them inside a table. It makes it really easy uh, when you're adding content or mm -hmm. viewing it uh, in front end. It's basically just like a so to display on the node edit form in a table? Yes, exactly. Um, it, it's it's a little limited, like if you're doing a complex data model like the like truck's talking about, and you have you know 15 nested field collections, it's not going to work. But if you have a fairly straightforward approach, you can um, it, it handles it pretty uh, pretty well. Are there any methods that don't use entities for this? Or the code? For the kind of code. For the kind of complex relationship that these would be going for, at the moment, no. Um, there were talks at one point about people possibly making things like a field construction kit, which would essentially, you know, associate multiple fields with one row of tables. So then you have something that's a little bit leaner. Mm -hmm. But I haven't seen anything really grow out of it yet. Um, if anyone wants to work on it together, you know, I'd be happy. And, and this field collection is in No, this is the field collection table module. Field collection is in beta 2, but I think an, a release candidate should be coming out relatively soon. But it's it's fairly polished from, from what I've seen of it so far. Pardon? Much further along. The sun, though some sandboxes are pretty far along too. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's it. If uh, I don't know what else to demo regarding it, unless you want to see some crazy views action on and what queries would potentially look like. But uh, I think you can probably take a guess at the kind of joins that you would see and how many lines it would go through, or something like this. And that's it. Thank you. <laughs>